Okay, we'll look at the solution for this question uh, where I give you the list of keys in a sorted order and ask you to first construct the binary search tree for it and then find out the average number of comparisons it takes for a successful search and unsuccessful search. Okay, so I have the tree here. Um, Alright, so we have index uh, values going from 0 through 8. So first we need to find the midpoint or the middle index, which is going to be 0 plus 8 uh, over 2. So that's going to be 4. So that's why we have here um, 30. Then we have to find the left subtree, which is for going from index values 0 to 3. So the middle uh, index for the root of the left subtree, this part is going to be 0 plus 3 over 2, that's going to be 1. So that is this guy, 0 plus 3 over 2, it's going to be 1. Okay, so. <clears throat> then to the left of it you have only one key so that will be the left node then to the right we have these two keys two and three so right so you see here this is one and this is four so the right subtree has to have the keys so it's index two and three so we need to find the middle index between two and three which is going to be two plus three over two which is two right so that's going to be this <coughs> so this is this uh, and so the other key is going to be to write of this 12 okay so of index 3 all right so <clears throat> the right subtree will have index values from 5 through 8 so the middle index is going to be 5 plus 8 over 2 which is going to be 13 over 2 13 over 2 is going to be 6 So the middle index is going to be 50, that's what it is. So this is um, 4 and 6, so in between it's 5, so this index, this key has to be the left node. And the right we have 7 and 8, so the root for the right subtree of this 50 is going to be with index 7 plus 8 over 2 which is going to be 7 which is this key 55 and the right of it is going to be 60 right so that's your binary search tree now for a successful search means uh, if you're searching for any of these nine keys with index values uh, 0 through 8 all right so uh, if you're searching for say 30 it will just take one comparison if you're searching for 10 or 50, if you're searching for, say, for 10, uh, you will index first into 4 and it is less than 30, so you will go to the left subtree and the index will match 0, 0 plus 3 over 2, which is 1, and you'll be able to find your uh, index 10 with key 10, right? So for 10 and 50, you will need um, two comparisons. Then for 3, 12, 45, and 55, uh, you will need three comparisons. So that's what I've indicated here. And then for 20 and 60, you will need four comparisons. Okay, so it autom just depends on the level of your key in the binary search tree. So the average number of comparisons is basically the sum of all these comparisons values divided by 9, the number of keys, which is going to be 25 over 9, which is 2.78. Now let's do an unsuccessful, unsuccessful search means what? You're searching for something that is not there. 
so you could search for something that is less than three so these are your keys right so you could search for something that is less than three or something that is greater than three and less than ten or something that is greater than ten and less than twelve greater than twelve less than twenty greater than twenty less than thirty greater than thirty less than forty five and so on something which is greater than fifty five less than sixty and something just greater than 60 so all the numbers that are out there can be grouped into these ranges there are 10 such ranges right anything just less than 3 anything just greater than 60 and anything which is in between these numbers keys all right so now we have to decide how many comparisons it, it takes to search for any of the values which are in these ranges and not these keys right so let's say I'm searching for key 2 so if I search for 2, it means um, I'll be indexing to this and 2 is less than 30, so I go to the left circuitry and 2 is again less than 10, so I do 2 comparisons until now and then go to the left circuitry and then 2 is less than 3, 3 comparisons and I don't see anything to the left of 3, so I declare 2 is not there. So that's an unsuccessful search, so it takes 3 comparisons to search for something that is less than 3. Similarly, if you want to some search for something that is greater than 3 and less than 10, let's say we search for 7. So 7 is less than 30, go to the left. 7 is less than 10, go to the left. 7 is greater than 3, so go to the right and you don't see anything, right? So, so if you search for something that is in this range, uh, you'll need 3 comparisons. And greater than 10, less than 12, so 1... Uh, say 11 right so 11 less than 30 yes go to the left 11 greater than 10 yes go to the right so now 11 less than 12 go to the left and you don't see anything so three comparisons then between 12 and 20 let's say you're searching for 13 13 less than 30 go to the left 13 greater than 10 go to the right 13 greater than 12 go to the right 13 less than 20 go to the left so you'll need four comparisons right similarly between 20 and 30 let's say you're searching for 23 uh, it is less than 30 greater than 10 greater than 12 greater than 20 nothing is there so it is four comparisons so likewise if you you just pick some number within each of those ranges just for understanding you can just look at this tree and write that but if you want to avoid making mistakes just pick up some number similarly between 30 and 45 let's say I pick 32 32 greater than 30 so go to the right 32 less than 50 go to the left 32 less than 45 go to the left nothing's there so in three comparisons you can find 32 is not there okay so likewise you do all these things and get this number of comparisons so again, the average number of comparisons for unsuccessful searches is the sum of all these values divided by 10. So we have 10 ranges here. So we have three, uh, how many threes here? Um, six of them and then four uh, comparisons for four ranges. So three times six plus four times four divided by 10. So 18 plus 16 divided by 10, which is 34 over 10, which is 3.4, right? <clears throat> now let's do this. Uh, let's see if I can stop with this and then we'll continue.